tonight. We're here at the greatest gym of all time. It's been said a million times. I'm Professor Stephen Williams, the greatest professor of the world. And I, before I even get into the technique we're gonna do, before I even get into the subscribe, before I even get into who I'm bringing on to help me demonstrate this beautiful two-on-one to an upper body tie, we have somebody in the room. God damn. That's what I'm gonna say. God damn. We're talking about world's strongest man. We're talking about, he actually taught Arnold Schwarzenegger how to lift weights, dude. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. Think about it. Isn't that crazy? Don't even, that's crazy. He taught Arnold Schwarzenegger how to lift weights. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> Chris. Everybody wants to be respected. I did teach Arnold how to lift weights about 35 years ago. Today's my 29th birthday. Think about that. He's only he's only 29 years old. He's negative six. I got the greatest basketball player that I've ever seen in my life, Daniel. I used to go to dinner to take the girl to see Tiny play against Earl the Pearl and Will, Rio and Jerry West play basketball at this. Right, getting into the two on one to an upper body tie, straight Greco Roman. So, first thing I'm gonna do when I come out is I'm gonna tie my partner's hands up. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab both hands independently. First thing I'm gonna do. And, you know, some of the factors of why this is so, so important is it's a great way to misdirect the guy who lets you shoot on the legs. So, it's a great way to set up opportunities for myself. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the hands up, linear grip, then I'm gonna switch to a cross grip. So, my left hand is gonna go right to Daniel's left wrist. My right hand's gonna go right around the capsule of the elbow and I'm gonna start to, start to drag Daniel's head down. So I start to snap his head down. The natural reaction is a slight posture, which is a common human reaction to fight the resistance. I'm gonna use my right arm on the elbow to push Daniel's arm towards his far shoulder, right towards his uh, right shoulder. So after the snap down, I'm pushing, and then watch, as I, as I push, my left leg steps around Daniel's right leg. So I wanna actually eclipse his right foot with my left foot. So as you'll see, I'll step, and I'll block. Now if you notice, if uh, if you can see here, my right arm is actually pushing on the armpit, pushing on Daniel's armpit, which is actually forcing all of his body weight over his post leg. In this case, his right leg. So as you can see here, it's a beautiful pull from what I've created with my, my left leg. From here, my ear takes the place of my right wrist, and I simply body lock the floor to rib. And it, it's elementary from here. I'm driving him to his shoulder from this position. But let's go over the setup again. I make my cross grip. I go right to that linear grip on the elbow. I start to snap and lower his head. As he starts to posture, I push, I step, boom, and I block the hip. See this? Now my ear takes the place of my right forearm, I body lock, and watch as I drive him to the mat, he has nowhere to step. Naturally, I'm able to drive him to his back and secure the top position, which is always the goal. So again, let's go over again, one more time in slow motion. So there's a lot of moving parts. Let me try to give as much value as I can. As I'm pushing my left hand, this is an important thing. As I start to push with this arm, I'm not letting both arms go at the same time and trying to grab, right? There's too much space for him to re-pummel his arms underneath me. So I want to make sure that I'm pushing, creating a nice, almost plateau with my right arm, and my left arm's grabbing around the hip. See, so now he can't run his hips away from me. See, he's locked into position. So again, I tie his hands up, cross grip linear, pull, pull. Now watch, watch the exchange with my arms. Right arm pushes, left hand goes to the hip. Watch, pull, see this, he has nowhere to go. Then I body lock, drive him to the mat, and drive his shoulder into his floater. And you get a beautiful take then off the clinch. Should we do that in fast motion line? Yes, sir. All right, Pern is on the camera, by the way. All right, real quick. I will stab you in the neck with a knife. Greatest gym in the world. Look at that flag. We fly it, we fly it proudly. Subscribe. Arnold Schwarzenegger's trainer. So I'm coming day and night. Greatest basketball player of all time. Greatest stand-up coach to ever live. Beautiful. Everybody wants to be